I've recently heard a lot of talk about layers. Creationists like to use the Grand Canyon to support their claims, often comparing it to how Mount St. Helens could form layers and canyons in a short period of time. There's a major problem here. So this is layering at Mount St. Helens, and this is layering at the Grand Canyon. See the difference? We, we can call this a false analogy, but that might be understating it just a little bit. What was deposited at Mount St. Helens was the equivalent of a big pile of dust. The rock layers at the Grand Canyon have fossils in them that came from the ocean. They don't have volcanic fragments in them. These are limestones, sandstones, and shales. At the base of the sequence at the Grand Canyon, there's a large schist unit. Schist is a hard metamorphic rock that requires at least two stages to form. First, it has to be deposited as a sediment, and then it has to be exposed to high temperature and pressure. Nothing in a flood would produce the high temperatures. If anything, at the bottom of a thick column of water, the temperature would be lower. Buried sediments, such as the limestones and sandstones at the Grand Canyon, go through a process called lithification. In this process, the sediments are pushed together and often have other minerals, such as lime or calcium, form between grains to glue the sediment together and form a hard unit. Different processes form different kinds of layers. Most sedimentary rocks form below water, so that erosion really has a minimal effect on them. There's many different rock types. When creationists try to declare that what happens to the weakest of rock types, and arguably isn't even a rock, is the same as what happens to the strongest of rock types, they're making a horrible argument. It's the same as saying that since it only took me a few minutes to read a Winnie the Pooh book, it will only take me a few minutes to read the whole Bible, because they are both books after all. Creationists use this same type of logic for all sorts of processes. Don't be suckered.